you want to continue improving as you recover from brain injury or stroke and as you manage Parkinson's disease. Maybe you've heard that music and singing are really good beneficial things that you can do in order to help you accomplish this. But what exactly? In what way? You might have heard too that there is a growing body of research and a lot of studies being done recently that indicate that music and singing are great after Parkinson's diagnosis and brain injury and stroke. But where are those studies? And what do they say exactly? And how can you take what the researchers are finding and apply it to your life to help improve the quality of your life? Well, I hope you'll stay with me because I'm very excited to start a brand new YouTube video series that will take a look at that. So each week I plan to be here with a new research piece and an actionable exercise that I will give you that will line up directly with what the research is showing, all from a layman's perspective. So my name is Kirsten and I facilitate Beyond High C live online group video classes for brain injury and stroke survivors and people with Parkinson's. And I want to get to right away the first, um, the first research piece that I have for you. So I'm going to show you the abstract and you might know that the abstract of a study is just the summary. So it just outlines what the researchers were hoping to learn, how they went about it, and what conclusions they were able to draw. So let's look at the first one right now. We're doing one each video. So this one was in the Frontiers in Neurology Journal in 2014, not that long ago. What I'm going to do is I'm going to blow up a little piece of with this paragraph here so I can highlight what I think is important. Now, I'm an adapted singing teacher, so I'm a lay person. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a researcher. I'm not a therapist. And so I'm coming at it from the same lens that a loved one or a survivor might um, with the little practical singing and musical knowledge put on top. All right. So I just want to read a little bit of this highlighted part, maybe from the middle, from, from a neuroscientific perspective. So from a neuroscientific perspective, indulging in music is considered as one of the best cognitive exercises. I'm just going to say that again. Indulging in music is considered as one of the best cognitive exercises. With plasticity at its veritable nature, brain engages in producing music, indulging an array of cognitive functions. Now, as I just said, I'm not a therapist or a researcher or a scientist, and I hear the word cognitive function, the the term cognitive function thrown around a lot. And so I thought I'd better look it up to be really clear about what elements that term encompasses and what it doesn't. So I'm just going to pull up the definition so briefly for all of us right now so we can be clear about what exactly we're talking about. All right, so I'm just going to read from the middle of this where it says cognitive functions in the middle of this paragraph. Cognitive functions encompass reasoning, memory, attention, and language, and lead directly to the attainment of information and thus knowledge. All right, as I work with brain injury and stroke survivors, and I listen to a lot of them talk to one another and to me, I know how important cognitive function improvement is to them. That is attention, memory, focus, and that's the same as attention, and, and language. Those are things that a lot of people want improvement with. And we just heard, we just read from the researcher's mouth that music, engaging and indulging in music can have a significant benefit as it is one of the best or the best cognitive exercise. Okay, now, um, <laughs> All right, so this is what this is, a free printable exercise. If you go to our website, beyondhighc.com slash study session, and there is a link in the description, um, 
I have an exercise for you. So I read this and I looked through my exercises and I sat and thought and I've come up with what I think is a great exercise you can easily do at home that lines up directly with what this research is indicating in a way to improve with Parkinson's after a stroke or brain injury. So I encourage you to go down there to that link and go to the website, get the exercise, do the exercise, and then please let me know, did you do it? How did it go? What impact do you think it could make? Also, I have asked you in the comments below another simple question about music, how music impacts you and whether or not you think you could see a benefit after brain injury, stroke, or Parkinson's. So please comment on this video there and please go get that exercise and um, the link to the exercise and also the link to that abstract I showed you are in the description box down below this video. So if you have found some value or some entertainment or both in this video, I hope you'll please give it a like and please subscribe and click the bell so that when I put up the next video, which will have a new exercise and a new piece of research to look at and talk to you about, uh, you'll know about it and you can join me here and grab those things for yourself. So I hope to hear from you. I'm excited to read some comments and I thank you very much for watching and I will hope to see you during the next video.